What's up, everybody? Welcome to round two of the TGC Tour. I forgot what the name of the tournament was, but we are killing it. <laughs> we are 17 under par through 18 holes. Yeah, boy, Rambo Ray is on point. Um, I mean, definitely one of the easier golf courses we played again on the TGC Tour. So, But still, 17 under par through round one. On, I don't care. I mean, on master difficulty or whatever difficulty they played on. Um, the hybrid, I guess, there, Masters is, I mean, this is an like incredible golf round. Um, so yeah, round two, let's get right into it. Um, so it starts off with, uh, like the tee box is different. I don't know how they do this, but they set up the golf course differently. Like this wasn't a thing on the first round. Like we had a tree literally right in front of us. So we can't really hit a, a draw towards the fairway. Um, I tried to hit a cut around it, basically a, a hard cut around it and end up in the rough again, like we did in the first round. So the goal is to try and put it on the green and give ourselves a chance of birdie. As you can see, the pin position is not as easy as it was in the first round, um, but definitely uh, gettable. We just have to kind of put it in the right spot. So the lie isn't terrible, so we just go fast and let the wind and the forwardness of the bounce on the front of the green to roll us by, and then we hit a really good shot. Um, we will take that 100%. It should be on the flat part of the green. We should have a basically more or less makeable birdie putt. So uh, we, how we were just putting... Um, it should be pretty good. Again, you guys are seeing these rounds on intervals, but I played the tournament through basically from start to finish, right from the start. So we just smash one right on the inside of the left edge of the hole, gauge the break perfectly. Um, obviously, gave it too much speed, but that was totally fine given the circumstances of the putt. So um, we got a nice little bowl to hit at here. But again, the mentality we had, which I feel has worked and I feel is what we're going to do moving forward, is to really try and hit good shots and use the shorter club and use a little bit kind of the, the, the through distance uh, with the upspin. And one of the reasons for that, and this is one of my tricks if you're a person that's trying to get better at this game, I feel like the the up, so basically the through, like the top spin, allows the ball to travel through in the wind a little better. It doesn't affect it as much when it goes downwind, and it doesn't affect as much when it goes into wind, at least. Like it's meant to basically push through the wind. So whenever the wind's blowing, it kind of allows you to not have to make as many crazy decisions, especially given that we don't actually know the wind speed when we play these tournaments. Um, it's really important to kind of uh, be able to do that uh, properly. So um, yeah, let's uh, keep going. Hole number two, part five, we start birdie, or hole number three, sorry. We started birdie, birdie. Um, we're kind of trying to determine Yikes, what, this is a weird one. We're trying to hit a draw. We're aiming a little far left. I feel like the only way we can hit the fairway here, which we did exactly perfectly, was to land it in the rough or have some sort of shape to it. I felt like anything on the right side of the fairway, especially the downwind aspect, was going to go through and get in the rough, and then we don't really have a good chance putting it close in two. So um, as you see, there's like a bold section behind the hole. So I'm not trying to get too cute with this, given we're hitting a downwind shot. Um, I'm just going to basically try and hit one, uh, except that it might go a little long. We, we're trying to hit a little draw. As you see, I'm putting some spin on it, uh, backspin as well, and we're just gonna hit one that's maybe a little faster. We actually go perfect with it, which is even better. Um, the wind holds it up a little straight and it ends up going way more right than I thought it would. As you can see, I, I mean, my facial reactions you can't see, but I was kind of disappointed with that one. I felt like we could have done a lot better there, but hey, we're chipping on the side of the green for Eagle, we have a chance, who knows, to make one. Um, we don't get greedy with this one. I feel like clubbing up would have been the right play to really for sure have a chance to go in, but um, we make a good shot, and ooh, actually, no, that was the right club okay, to take. Like, I'm glad we didn't club up. I think we were a little bit on the downhill line, but again, we give ourselves an easy, straightforward putt for birdie. Um, just got to keep the good times rolling with these scores. I mean, when we have, like, and that's the thing, like, this is the first time we've ever been in a lead at one of these TGC tournaments, so um, I feel like it's really important to kind of, like, just keep the ball rolling and not make mistakes. Not necessarily be, we don't want to be passive, but we don't want to be overly aggressive, so... Um, I tried to hit a slight cut on this one. I went much faster than I wanted it. We get lucky, catch a piece of the fairway, but not the easy shot and really not a good angle we're trying to accomplish here. So we're going to try and manipulate a shot. Um, we're going to think about this one for a second, though. We're thinking about clubbing up because of the win. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my decision ended up being on this one. I think I tried to hit a little draw into the win here to try and feed it towards the hole. The last thing I wanted was to hit that slope, that shorter hole, to bounce it off. I feel like that would end up uh, going past the hole on the down slope in the back. So um, we actually hit a really good shot. Perfect. Uh, we just, I think we misjudged the wind slightly. I mean, this carried to the hole. It could have carried like five or six yards less. would have been perfect. But it did exactly what we were looking to do. And it's go a little long and end up on the slope in the back of the green. Um, so now we got to make kind of a, a, a good putt, a good read to really have a chance to make this. Um, but yeah, like three lines at the start, a lot of break at the start. 
Um, I hate when it does that. This has been happened to me a lot lately where the, I mean, how did that not break at all? That just didn't move. I'm actually surprised with that. Um, but yeah, it's been happening a lot to us lately where the putts, for whatever reason, what I'm, I'm trying to go back slowly to try and gauge the distance of the, the putter, um, since we don't have the vibration like the controller people do, um, we have to just gauge it visually based on the, the animation length of the putter going backwards. That's how we determine distance and how far we're hitting it. Um, but yeah, I, it's been it's been kind of a struggle to really kind of get those putts going. For that reason, it's like I, I putt and it just doesn't it doesn't actually putt it. Um, we made a really good tee shot there. It was into right the wind. I didn't really add anything to it, and it just went past the hole. Um, that was a little disappointing. I thought I hit a much better shot than the result, uh, which is never fun. But yeah, um, our putting has not been pure this round, but not been terrible. Uh, but another kind of overread putt. This just did not break at all. We even pulled it a little bit. Um, another thing I noticed, I mean, this I've kind of talked about this in previous videos, but there's a lot of putts that kind of just don't break as much as the game says it's going to. And even putts that like you put past the hole and you miss a putt basically. And then on the way back, the read that it gave you on the last putt is completely different than what you have. Like for example, a show putt breaking and then you go past the hole and then you look on the other side of where you just came from and the putt's actually flat or vice versa, it's more break. Um, but yeah, not the best tee shot. We go in the rough, so we're gonna club up appropriately to make sure we get it to the hole. We overshoot okay, this by a lot. Um, that was green, definitely huh? too much club. And it's not ideal. So shot. now we are chipping on the side of the green. Uh, not trying to be too aggressive with this. As you see, it's all downhill. Um, just really trying to put it close and give it a chance. We actually did a pretty good job of giving it a chance there, but we blew it by the hole by a lot. But at least it's on the right portion of the green. We're putting uphill. I mean, the putt is straight based on the game. So we put a good putt on the ball. And we actually, I caught the edge. I broke a little right, even though just as we were talking about the lines, not really saying what's going to happen. But yeah. Um, so our lead is slightly dwindling down. We had a seven shot lead going to this, or is it six shot lead, I think, uh, on PC at least going around two. And now we're down to five. So we definitely have to keep, you have to keep firing. Like it's like the scores are going to be low for everyone. It's not a hard golf course. It's not like we shot. Uh, 1700 par in Augusta National in these settings like the players are good in this society in, in these TGC tournaments and we're in the second highest division that is on the website so uh, there's good, a lot of good aspiring players that are trying to make it to the top so again we try and hit the good shot here we go a little fast but I think that ends up helping us because I feel like we didn't have enough club actually we oh my god I almost hit the flag and that was perfect um, it actually landed on the upslope which was really good and now we have a super easy birdie putt um, and yeah, going fast actually helped us there. I think it would have been, it would have still would have been an easy putt if we went perfect, but I definitely think it would have been a little shorter. Uh, we might have had some of that upslope, side slope that was uh, looking a little short to hold there. Um, but yeah, things worked out. We were, we, again, we played, we're taking the shorter club and playing the distance. Like again, that's like the biggest model and the biggest thing I learned from these rounds was that not going, even when we're hitting into the wind, not taking the club up, just kind of taking the club down and adding distance, unless the wind is like substantial enough to where we really don't, like we want to miss on the right side of the hole. For example, like we're on an upslope here, hitting into the wind. I'm going to take more club and just try and gauge this uh, based on the, the fact that the ball's going to pop right into the sky and the wind's going to hold it out. So hopefully we made the right decision. Um, and I, again, this is perfect. We yeah, judged it perfectly and that's a really well judged shot. That. Um, it's not going to always be, we're not always going to take the club shorter, but for the most part, we're going to make the decisions that really make sense given uh, the conditions that we're facing. So another good birdie. Um, number nine, sorry, I drink some water. My throat's killing me. Number nine, the tree on the right's kind of bothering me a little bit. So I just tried to hit this one perfect, um, which we did. I was expecting to go a little fast, but even then, if we went a little fast, we'd have been in the rough. So I actually hit a really good tee shot here. Um, this is probably the hardest green that we've had this whole round. Um, so we're trying to take one off the slope here. We're, we're trying to be cute, which we haven't done so far. Uh, but based on the light of the shot, as you see, I'm a little downhill. So I really wish I would have taken the club less here, um, reminiscing on what happened. I think this is for sure going to be long. And we went, actually, slow might help us here, typically, because it's going to go into the wind. It might end up being short, which is not the worst place to be. Good luck. I definitely think if we hit that perfect, it would have been a little feet. long. Uh, but I mean, who knows? We'll never know, I guess. But trying to make a good putt, this is a—I mean, this is a huge momentum putt. This is definitely one of the hard. I feel like this is a not a birdie hole. If you, because of where the pin is this round, like I feel like the stroke average of the tournament is probably like—I uh, mean, I'd say it's closer to par than birdie. So actually, stripe one right down the middle. What a putt! 
that's a huge bump right there. Um, allows this to go. We'll be six under on the front instead of five under, which is huge. Um, again, building our lead. I mean, we're 23 under through 27 holes. This is some pretty incredible golf so far. Uh, and our, our welcoming to the elite tour of the TGC community. Um, pretty easy pin location, as you see. Pins in the back. Um, kind of the same mentality we've been saying. Uh, it's a little downwind. So, actually, I think I took a little bit off of this, which I feel like I should. Um, it's a little downwind, and I feel like the, the hole's a little downwind. I, excuse me, the hole's a little downhill, and the, the, the hole's a little downwind. So, I feel like this is my. If I didn't take anything off, I think it's going to be too much. And yeah, like as we saw, I didn't take anything off. I probably, like it's crazy because you look at these things when you're playing it, you don't necessarily see all those things. Um, so it's good to kind of watch my own gameplay. Actually, this might even help me get better. Um, just like I do in Call of Duty when I watch my own gameplay. This, the TGC might help me do, uh, the PGA 2K might help me do that as well. Uh, didn't hit that chip hard enough. Um, really try to get cute with it, but a little disappointed after the good tee shot. Definitely had, a, I felt like rolling the ball to the back of the, the green would have been an easy one, but we make the good decision there. And now we're gonna make the, uh, basically this is the same kind of shot we had last hole, uh, but we're gonna take one club less and just not even do anything to shot, just let it kind of feed to the hole. And this is, I mean, absolute money shot. Like this is this is what we're talking about. Like this is really the, the, the new mentality, the new Rambo Ray motto is to use the roll of the ball to try and feed it towards the hole. Not expected, I feel like it's really hard to control in this game um, and really in actual golf to control spin uh, when you're playing on really firm greens. Um, and that's really kind of what we're getting to here. We're just trying to make the right decisions to hit good shots. Um, we're hitting this one slightly new, and I hope I gave this a little more. If I didn't, it might be a little short, but uh, it looks like we didn't, and it looks like it's really good. I mean, this is just this is just good golf. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this. This is just really good decision making. And uh, we're executing on the shots. I don't think I've hit this many perfect shots since we started the TGC stuff. Um, again, I haven't really tried to hit this many perfect shots, but it's definitely a, a, a good mojo going in our head to really uh, properly uh, be able to select our shots if we're actually hitting perfect shots. Because it's obviously a lot easier to gauge what's going to happen when you're expecting the ball to go where you're aiming. Um, so, again, kind of the same mentality as last two holes. We have a, we're going to club down a little bit. Um, we just want to kind of land this like maybe just a little right of the hole and feed it down the slope um, because the ball is way below my feet, which is why I'm aiming more towards the hole. We're kind of countering, we're kind of counter effect the slope with the wind. Um, we go a little faster, which is not ideal. And the wind's kind of just taking this one dead left. We're kind of hoping it catches the slope because we saw that was kind of a bull area and we do that. We get a little lucky here. It's going to feed down the slope a little closer Let's to the hole. And that was a little more lucky than being uh, good. Uh, but again, we kind of took the right idea. We tried to play the slope right at a hole, knowing that our miss is definitely left typically. So uh, we have an outside channel. I mean, it's a pretty good chance at eagle right here. Um, pretty big putt for the mojo. And it, look at that. The ball just went left. Uh, that just I hate that. That's just annoying. Like, there's there's no lines that we're aiming to the left. And as you see, if you if you go back and pause when we put made the second putt, there was actually two lines on the hill we were on that were going left. Um, and that's one thing that I just don't understand what, I don't know if it's a game bug or it's just like they're trying, it's an intended feature of the game to try and like keep you on your toes. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. But another good drive down the middle, another wedge in our hands. Um, straight down wind. I, I'm kind of like cautious here because it's an uphill shot still. So I'm looking at the, the, the hill short and I don't want to, I kind of want to land it there. I don't want to end up there though. So... Um, but I think I just hit too much club. I just hit way too big of a shot here. Uh, we definitely should have put the max spin or even maybe that would have been maybe a decent hole to hit yep, pitch on. So now we went long and now we have to deal with the slope that was Here's behind the hole. Uh, really anything pin high would have been a pretty easy putt on this, but we just didn't accomplish that. So uh, we have another kind of difficult putt to make. This is not one we typically expect to make, but just gauging by what I'm lining up, this definitely looks like it's going to miss low. Oh, and yeah, this it did. Um, we're learning though like the more we play this game the more we see putts and scenarios and situations that look a lot alike so it's kind of all building in my brain and i kind of have a good memory for these things so it's really been helpful so 521 yards into the wind par five uh let's see how far this drive goes probably gonna go around 300 so yeah we're gonna have a 225 yard shot we got a hybrid in our hands uh this is the kind of shot where i feel like you want to end up short and not long um so i think we're just going to try and hit one perfect and let the wind uh, just take us to the front of the green um, but as sadly, we go fast, and that's for sure going to miss left. I we were definitely short, though. That one's definitely stronger than what I thought it was. So 
I'm a little tricky shot. Um, I go max backs in here, which I'm uh, looking at. I don't really think I should have done. This is definitely going to be a little. Short. I mean, that's not and too short. That's fine. Uh, we probably could have just hit the shot without spin there. It would have been perfect. Um, so far, but yeah, so another kind of gimme birdie putt. No, no mistakes made. It's just, again, this golf course, you really had to make birdie on all the par fives. Um, I mean, we played so well the first round to where the first the birdie we missed on 18 wasn't that impactful, uh, but definitely something you can't afford to make. Um, a really good tee shot here. We actually creep it up the left side of the fairway a little bit, and as you see all the slope to the holes uh, was, I mean, this is not an easy second shot by no means. You kind of have to land it. Basically, you see the red lines on the front where a little bit left of where my aim is. You were trying to land this like just a little bit short of pin high. And we hit a perfect shot. We just expected the ball to just Shots travel the distance because the wind was completely aside. And we land this exactly where we needed to land it. And it almost went in. Well done, and that was that was like honestly probably the best shot I hit all around. Um, really because of the difficulty of where we had to land that. We go a little too far. It could have rolled by. Granted, it would have been kind of an easy putt. But if we land that short, it could have taken a huge hop off that hill and bounced way past. Um, so kudos to that distance control. And again, hitting a perfect shot. Like we, we played for the perfect shot, and we're just we're playing we're just playing good golf. Like we're if our tempo is going to be like this every time we play, we're going to get a lot better at this game, um, and it's going to make our decision making a lot easier. So I got a club up here. The pitching wedge and nine irons all distance always a little weird in this game. So um, I tried to just kind of go a club up, and I felt like it was going to be enough, but it, actually not even close to enough. I should have went club up and more go. distance Birdie with the spin, take it through the wind, but I didn't do that. Um, this is a putt we've seen before in the round, so hopefully I make the right adjustments to make it. I don't remember if I did. And yeah. no, just a little too hard. I mean, a smidge, probably just aimed a little too high. I think we missed the, this putt that we had similar. Maybe it was in the first round, but uh, I think we missed it high as well, so lack of a better of adjustment. But yeah, another chance at this par five. I mean, 500 yard par five, like you have to do something good on this hole. Like you just can't. You can't afford not to make birdie on a hole like this. So okay, hopefully we do better this time. Uh, 184 yards, right in the middle of the fairway. We're hitting off a down or not a down slope, but it balls above our feet. It is a down slope actually. So um, that's where we're going to make the decision to go uh, a club less or not a club less, but we're not going to play really the win. We're going to counter affect the win with a little forward and just try and hit a good shot. We hit a perfect shot, but sadly the wind is much stronger than we anticipated and we're in the deep rough again. Not as bad a lie this round, and we definitely learned that we're not going two clubs up, or excuse me, yeah, two clubs up. So we stick with the gap wedge this round, try and hit it the right distance, and try and make a good shot and put a chance to go in. And oh my goodness, it actually went in. Let's go. Six shot, eagle finish for the 59th. Back to back rounds under 60 to start this tournament. That is saucy. I mean, that's, again, again, it's really what we learned from the first round. We had a really bad lie. Granted, the lie was a lot worse first round, but I think we went two or three gloves more. So really, we were just expecting to just, I wasn't expecting that ball to make it to the hole, but I mean, I was really hyped on this one. That was absolutely a sick that shot. Um, and again, build on our lead. We were, what, six up, and now we're, eight, we're nine up on the PC community. I mean, absolutely torching this tournament right now. We are definitely up on everyone um, and really hoping the console players uh, didn't do too well and that's kind of the difference like to just end the video like the console players because the greens aren't too hard they might have a better chance to score well but we'll see hope you guys enjoyed this video as always um stay tuned for the next one have a good one